it's inspiration wednesdays guys how are you doing i am feeling so say good morning malik good morning my son is outside helping me it's early in the morning and wednesdays are dedicated to you and your inspirational gardens all over the world and today i have a packed program for you absolutely packed i am so so pleased with the support i've been getting with this inspiration wednesdays you guys have been sending me your photos and your gardens and your little videos i appreciate you guys so we're going to walk through our garden and do inspection while i share with you those inspirational gardens all over the world all right guys i'm so happy with you guys hey baby good morning they can't hear you good morning <laughs> morning friends he's here in the garden with me helping me out as usual it's early so i'm getting my usual morning help from him let me say thanks guys thank you baby these turnips are doing absolutely amazing i just placed rabbit manure on them a couple of days ago and they're just exploding out of the container but while you are aware that i am farming on mere rocks Let's check out Greg's, who's farming on mere blocks. This guy is crazy. Let's check out his beautiful garden, guys. Good morning. Good morning. So I get an update upon the garden. Big up yourself, Marie, as always. Big inspiration. The pepper them. These are actually extra peppers that were planted. And in case you wonder, it's called farming on the blocks farming on the blocks where all my farming shall be done on a block all right so farming on the blocks all right here we go moving on yes welcome back to farming on the block onions looking nice peppers looking sturdy i just weed up all of this and yes i'm on my block it's called farming on the block for a reason here we go now say a word you know farming on the rocks has inspired me to create my own content farming on the block yeah so we'll come down, move down, move one muscle. And I know by now you're wondering, is he really farming on a block? Yes, he is. And yes, I only one block set so I have to move. Go which part me need the farming done. So right now me need the farming done right there. So see it? Alright, alright, alright. Um and then normally my farm long distance for the rest of them because you know the black thing go already though. Alright. Thank you so much, Gregory. Continue to grow what you eat and eat what you grow. That's the only way to go, really. Guys, I think I'm seeing a sign of one ear of corn coming up on this one that is start that the pollen are starting to fall. But I just think these corns are force ripe. I don't know why, but I just think they're force ripe. They're looking healthy, but I just think that the tassel came up too soon. I'm not sure. Not sure. It don't look right to me. Behind me here, these two containers, these two containers are old machine drums. You know drums? And I planted peanuts recently in them. I doubt it's two weeks yet. And check out the growth on the growth on these. Amazing. Now, when I planted these, I was inspired by a couple of people and also miss elaine um melanie from growing my own uh stacy from blessing no stacy from gardening with stacy and soroya from blessings from the garden they all played a part in me planting peanuts they encouraged me to do so and i did little did i know that i would have inspired someone else no check out miss taylor's peanuts she planted them a couple of days and she said she was inspired when she saw me planting these peanuts just take a look at this guys look at these peanuts i'm um, planting peanuts now i remember i see other gardeners planting peanuts so i decided to follow and three days ago I planted these peanuts and look at them. 
look at them guys look at these peanuts all of them came up guys all of them came up I put um, three peanuts in each um, and I have success with all of them thanks Marie for the inspiration for the peanut planting yes guys so they all germinated that's what I like to see now Miss Taylor started her channel I think it's Samiti Samiti DIY and adventure you can check out her check out her channel she recently started her channel and we encourage and appreciate everyone who is trying to plant their own food and trying to share that with others so we can inspire others to do the same so yes thank you so much madam appreciate your efforts and your peanuts are going to do well just like i anticipate mine will <laughs> oh. Since I found the ornworm on this tomato plant, every morning I come out, I have to check it and check it religiously because I really don't want them to, to destroy my plant. It is such an amazing feeling to be able to come out in the garden and sit. And speaking of sitting in the garden, Mel, Mel Clark down in the USA. Oh my word, she's doing a fantastic job with her garden. And she sent me some pictures just to show me what is happening so just take a look at these guys and enjoy and appreciate that it is possible to grow your own food no matter where you live just take a look at her carrots that she's growing in a bathtub a bad pan i started with a bathtub this is just a bad pan and it is doing so fantastic she has been harvesting her carrots and her beans to make her side dishes she's doing fantastic mel i'm proud of you and i'm sure the guys are proud of you too all right keep it up i planted rainbow is it rainbow beets or colorful beets in here a couple days ago literally a couple days ago and these are one of my favorite things to plant in now the these are the blue drums that they are used to ship household items and food from the diaspora to Jamaica for our families. And um, I got these from Miss Gillette. These are my one of my favorite things to plant in. One, they're deep. And two, they're sturdy. It is extremely hot out here, so plastic will crystallize easily. Now, I got a couple of these drums from Miss Gillette. Some of you might remember her. When um, she offered me and I went and collected drums from her. She also started her garden by watching. She always planted flowers. But she said she, she bumped into my channel. She started planting her own food. And would you take a look at this. Miss Juliet has her little patch of okra. And they said they've been harvesting so much from it. Each day they literally go out there especially her husband and they just eat it like fruits from the plants i am so proud of miss juliet she also said that since i came and touched her tomatoes they are tomatoes on her tomato plant so i encourage miss juliet continue to grow your own food my dear we are proud and we appreciate you all right thank you for sharing i'm seeing little beets growing in here I am seeing quite a few and their colors are different so I cannot wait to see what these colorful beads turn out to be I can't wait <laughs> amazing guys you know sometimes blessings come in this guys right so I planted one two three four five six bell pepper plants and out of those came 
this banana pepper plant guys i'm serious when i say i cannot count the amount of banana peppers on this one plant but take a look at this i have bell peppers too let me can you see there are so many bell peppers on this miss andrea miss andrea girl i see the squirrels giving you a fight and you have to be literally covering your pepper plant with chicken wires from those little critters but continue to do what you have to do because you will get pepper from your plant once you take care of it and continue to mold up your tomatoes once the squirrels scratch them out because see the first sign of tomatoes and this is not only a sign this is in fact tomatoes on your plant so the struggle is real with the pests and the critters but we can't give up because at the end of the day we'll be rewarded for hard work they are annoying but they serve their purpose and we just have to work around them all right guys thank you so much for sharing miss andrea appreciate you appreciate you so much these are beautiful these are poblano peppers you guys and i'm planting these ones for the first time check out the fruits on them i thought they were tiny peppers because did you hear the dove ah the most beautiful sounds in the morning i thought they were going to be small peppers because these are hot peppers but check out the size on these miss dogry your patio garden is looking beautiful absolutely beautiful take a look at doggy's little patio garden guys and i see those peppers peeking out yes i can see them doggy i think that bird is in love with your garden thank you so much for sharing appreciate it guys These are my sweet yams growing right here and they're just doing amazing guys these are just planted good morning to you too these are planted in five gallon buckets guys and the reason why i replanted them in the five gallon is because of the harvest i got from the first plant which was grown from peeling skin that i used to mulch something else that was planted in there and I got a nice piece of yam and so I just changed the soil and replanted in it so I'm saying this to say you can grow food virtually anywhere as long as it is getting sunlight and water and is in some fertile soil so grab any container you can and plant something it is absolutely rewarding at the end of the day when you're able to harvest something that you use your own hands to plant watch it grow nourish it until you're able to harvest it so that's the reason why i shared this yam with you just now to encourage you if you can plant a yam plant some irish potatoes thank me later yeah and that the, the guys is 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 fussing about our mangoes that we harvested the neighbor's dog came and took everyone and they didn't take the ones that fell to the ground they took the ones that we harvested yeah okay back to this so i planted some carrots in here and they sprouted so i'm making sure i have to remove the cover once they sprout i have to take off the cover otherwise they'll be leggy and we don't want them to be leggy so i'm watering come baby even though you're upset with those dogs them them wicked man ah, good morning good morning inspiration wednesday yes it's fans inspiration and families wednesday. yes it's inspiration wednesday 
How are you doing? Guys, the, the, the guys are so encouraged now, Daddy. I got so much to share this week. And I'm so grateful. Yeah. Well, thanks for all the videos. Thanks for all the um, photos. Thanks for letting us know that you are inspired or you were inspired and sharing it with us. And it is our greatest pleasure to share it with everybody wherever you are we will be sending it sending it out there if it is not if it is not done this week i'm i'm just saying because best believe we have been inspiring a lot of persons a lot of persons all right so thanks for sharing with us and we definitely will be sharing with everybody else on our platform all right guys so, huh? so yes guys the potatoes i am seeing some action in there but they're not rising above yet i can't wait to see these rise above um we mulch them heavily with dry leaves but the patience is running out so i keep scratching away the leaf to see if they're they're sprouting and they are but slowly very very slowly I understand that once they sprout they grow fast but the weight is agonizing hey, mango. if you look up in the tree right they say if you want pretty mango you see it yeah you have to climb it because it's way up in the tree but it's well pretty prettier than you Yes, you I. You never hear you say that yet. I want to go on this morning. This is our first ever tea. Something go on. Something go on this morning. I'm going to go check. This is our first ever tea. I'm going to go check. Something go on. Oh, let me see it. Pretty though. Yeah. Pretty like me. No, no, you're not your ugly life. That man is fool this morning. Pretty. You hear that? Pretty like me, no. Sweet, pretty like me, no. Find it. You find it? Yeah. Pretty man. Oh God. Ooh. Here. Nice one. The one here for you guys, yeah man. Me not give him no mango because he's so me ugly. You pretty though. Yeah, never mind mango. No put it down in you know, cause then dog they are wicked. Yeah, then the thing say no, they say once beaten twice shy me me have to learn. Come this morning, you know. Come this morning now. So me go eat my mango. Dog, the dog eat about eight of the mango. It's not about eight, it's eight of them them eat. Eight, eight of the mango we have us off of the tree yesterday. Put on the mango for drain. Come this morning, the dog eat half the mango then. Every and I know my one. dog, you know. I know my dog. So annoying. Come babe. I'm trying to get the one. Oh my word. Maybe if I bring that one right inside. My next one, the right one is open. Ah, this one pretty. Pretty bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guys, I plant yellow yam in those buckets that is watering. Well, yellow yam skin. So we're hoping to get yam next year from from those skins right in there we're in the jungle part of the garden this is our favorite part because it is so cool yeah. and country like sir see all sorts of things are going in at this part yes, of the sir, garden nice, yes so guys let me, let me show you what is going on around this side so guys that is the sweet yam that is watering and in these two buckets we're going to cut that um, oil container to plant in as well in those two those little vines never mind how wishy-washy they look now eh baby because that's how the yam was in that mm -hmm. and then if we get a huge piece of yam from it so those are yellow yam vines found the the skin the peeling skin growing and we just planted them look at pomegranate guys 
I'm telling you, this is an old little food forest around here. Look, nice look at the papaya. That one look, seems to be developing. It looks that way. Maybe a little, a little taller than the papa tree. Yeah, I tell you. <laughs> See Kalaloo back there, guys. Yeah, nice. Kalaloo won't cut because the worm look like they want to eat them. I don't understand them, Ramir. I'm coming around. That. Baby, guess what? It look like the cho cho a take off. Yeah, we need to make a arbor for it. Let me come around and look at the Kalaloo. Guys, see the Cersei right here? We have a medicine in the garden. See a seed right there? Cersei coming up so nice and bushy. Look at her Malabar spinach and her sugar cane. Look here! Look here, man! This is one of the things we always buy when we go to the market. We soon don't need to buy no sugar cane. It's absolute bless. Sometimes these things they seem like they're going to take forever to produce, but just plant it and you surprise yourself. Baby, look at this okra. Mm -hmm. Look at the size of this okra. That, that's supposed to go on now. Yeah. You think? Let me try it. Yeah. I don't want to leave this mango. Guys, all you know, the okra is good. You snap the end, and if it snaps like that so easily, mm -hmm. it is still fresh. It's still fresh, baby. Keeps, baby, don't mm -hmm. water the time here. The time don't like water. Well, you tell me. Picky, picky. Yeah, it's still good. Look how it be, look how they plant a beer. Look here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, nice flower up on it. Yeah, right here. What kind of pepper is this for me? That's poblano pepper. And it's hot pepper, baby. Okay, so we'll use pepper. it to make pepper sauce, yeah. Okay. I'll use it to cook with, but it's hot. Yeah. See another big one here, baby. Can you pick this one for me, please? This one. This good? Snap it. It don't no, snap? No. Alright, so that one too far gone. And guys, and the one that was here popped. Can you see that one opening? And the seeds fell in the tub. And look at that. So I'm going to have to transplant out some of those okra plants elsewhere. Let me pick up this mango because I don't want to see myself. I saw some aphids on this and I sprayed with my soap water and it killed them. Nice. So guys, I have my soap water at hand right in here. Okay, here are the poblano peppers close up. They are so pretty. I wish they were sweet peppers, but they are not. And baby, look at this because I don't want you love harvest like your picnic. You know? So let me show you. This is banana pepper, baby. And this is Hungarian wax pepper. This is sweet. This is hot. So you no pick no pepper down here so <laughs> you you just know my cantaloupe is producing baby you see the fruits you see them mm -hmm. this right here so this oh, little oh, thing oh, oh, yeah, yeah. that yeah. is the fruit that is the male flower this is the female and see one right here so mm -hmm. see one right here so mm -hmm. so the the cantaloupe look good mr the cersei Oh, the tomato beer right here. So, baby, look, see a pod here. No, man, beer things are. Look at the little banana sucker competing with mommy. It has grow fast, see, man. You see the color, Lou? Oh, yes. Baby, you need to eat them. I'm You need to. I'm cooking it for your dinner today. You're going to get that and boil dumpling for your dinner. Guys, he loves that. He eat it anyhow, anyway. Some more tomato here, so. Nice. Beautiful. So, yes, guys. If you want to be a part of Inspiration Wednesdays, all it takes is for you to send an, an email with a picture or pictures or a short video, 30 seconds to a minute to my email address and my email is listed in my description my general description so you click on my profile pic you click more and you scroll down and you'll see my email address send your pictures or your videos to my email address your name and where you're sending them from not your specific address just your country if you're in Jamaica your parish and I'll feature you on a Wednesday because Wednesdays are for you until something changes of course 
Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you as always. Please remember to like, leave your comments, and share with your friends. If you've not already subscribed, please press that subscribe button and also the notification bell. All right, take care, guys. Bye bye. I'm gonna put this mango inside. Yeah, make my clothes with that? Yeah. I'm hungry. I'm going to cut the color loose. See, okra here. I don't like when them bigger than this. Huh? Okra. I'm going to cut All right, look on that one here. That's a giant. That, that gun. See one nice one here. You can put with that. I'm going to get the knife. Yeah, yeah put the color loose? Yeah. Okay, look here. You never see them here? Look here. You can cook them there now, the Kalaloo. Yes. Kalaloo and okra. Kalaloo and... <laughs> yeah, I love my greens, you know? Look here, no. Can I see you? No. Look here. Do you see that, guys? Look here. A little okra and Kalaloo in yeah. the morning. Give me a knife, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut the Kalaloo later, y'all, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, have a good day. Uh -huh.